Hello violin players. Now that you've started with your first bow strokes, we're going to be thinking about the shoulder rest. And I recommend that you purchase a shoulder rest with your violin and that you start to use it every time you play. And I'm going to tell you in this video about the purpose of the shoulder rest and how you can adjust it to make it fit your particular shape of your collarbone and your shoulder. And also how you can adjust your shoulder rest or your chin rest to make it fit even better. So we're going to develop our violin playing straight away and we're going to make your open string bowing more comfortable because we use the shoulder rest. I am using a Wolf Forte Secundo shoulder rest. You can get it from my website right here, but I'll also put a link in the description below. And I'm using this one because in my opinion, it is the one shoulder rest that is available that you can fully optimize to fit your particular shape of your collarbone and your shoulder. These things are made to be bent, so I could curve it a little bit more. Can you see it's bent more now? And that might just fit, if you've got a very pronounced collarbone here, it will fit it really nicely and it will hold the violin in place. Now the shoulder rest and the chin rest together fill up the space between your jaw and your collarbone. So both the chin rest together and the shoulder rest will have to be this high. And this is different for every person. You might have a slightly longer or shorter neck than I do, and it will make your violin very comfortable to play if you personalize it to your own neck length. For most people, the, the chin rest is a given if you have a super long neck or if you find after a couple of weeks that you cannot get comfortable, then it might well be worth exploring different options of chin rest. But for now, we're going to assume that we are not going to change the chin rest. We're just going to adapt the shoulder rest. Now, when I'm going to fit the shoulder rest, I'm going to have the legs in their lowest position. And then I am going to fit the shoulder rest across the greatest width of the violin. And I'll show you that like that. So it's about in the middle of the widest part here. Now, this particular type of shoulder rest, I can also swivel. It can go more at an angle or flatter on your shoulder, depending on what is comfortable for you. But let's leave it in its intermediate state for now. Now I'm going to have a look at this little button and I'm going to place it in this little gap here in my neck. And now I'm going to slide my violin across my collarbone to the left side until this corner of my jaw is above the chin rest. And when you do that, your violin is at an angle. It's about a 45 degree angle from center forward, shall we say. When you have your violin there, you should gently feel the chin rest and you should also feel the shoulder rest on your chest right here and on your collarbone. If that doesn't fit in any way, then I would suggest you raise the legs a bit more. It's more likely than not that you will have more space to fill up rather than less. So I'm just going to raise one of these legs or both. You can experiment with that. What does it feel like if I raise one side slightly higher than the other? There we are. And then I'm placing it in the center again. Repeat the process. This goes in the center of my neck, slide it to the side, and then it fills it up much, much better. And you should feel that your shoulder rest is touching alongside your chest right here. So it shouldn't be fitting just in one place, but you should have quite a big surface area of contact right here. And that way your shoulder rest is fitted correctly. And, and now when you repeat the exercises of lesson one, I should imagine that you will feel a lot more comfortable. Now in the next lesson, we're going to fine tune your violin Literally, we're going to learn how to tune. If you want to watch that right now, here it is. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in lesson three.